All right, this is part three of our lesson on solving systems of polynomials. All right, so first of all, what kinds of polynomials are, are these? Well, both of these are quadratic, so that means they are both parabolas. Okay, so that means we might be dealing with this type of situation where we have a parabola and another parabola. You know, so in general, we're looking for up to two solutions. All right, but we'll see exactly how it looks when we're done. Okay, now we have to decide if we want to do substitution or elimination. And uh, with all of these different types of variables, uh, elimination is going to be our best bet. For elimination to work, because look, we have three different kinds of variables. We have x squared. Uh, we have x and we have y. All right, that's three different kinds of terms. Um, we need to get this down to just one kind of term. So when we do elimination, we need to eliminate two out of the three variable types. So um, I see the 3x and the 3x, well, negative 3x and negative 3x, and the y and the y. We should be able to cancel out both of these at once. So, and we can do that by multiplying the top equation by negative 1. So let's do that. If I multiply that top equation by negative 1, then what I get is uh, positive x squared plus 3x minus y equals 0. Okay. Uh, the bottom equation didn't change, so I'm just going to copy it down as is. So the bottom equation is uh, negative 12x squared minus 3x plus y equals 0. Okay, and I just brought that equation down unchanged. So you see that uh, we have the opposites that cancel like we wanted. Alright, so the x terms cancel and the y terms cancel. So that's going to leave me with, and you know, treating this as 1x, so we've got negative uh, 11x squared equals 0. So this is easy to solve for if we divide both sides by negative 11. Okay, then that's going to give us x squared equals 0, um, which of course means x equals 0. I mean, you could think of it as taking the square root of both sides if you want to, but uh, common sense tells you that the only thing you can square that makes 0 is 0. So we don't really need the square root. Okay, so x equals 0. Um, we need to find the y values that go with this x value. So. Uh, you can think of it in terms of making it uh, an xy chart. Okay, um, so I'm going to make two just in case we, we need it, but so far we've just got the one x value of zero. Now, let's substitute this x value of zero back into one of the original equations and see uh, what we get for a y value. Okay, um, so I'm just going to use the top equation because it looks slightly more simple. So the top equation, let me just put a box around it to show what I'm doing. Okay, so yeah, I'm using, so I've got negative x squared minus 3x plus y equals 0, okay? But x equals 0, so I'm taking this and I'm substituting it in here and here. Okay, so that's going to give me the opposite of 0 squared minus 3 times 0 plus y equals 0. Interesting. Um, well, obviously, this is just going to be 0 and 0. So it's really just telling me that y equals 0. Okay, so um, 
we're just getting this one intersection point of 0 comma 0. All right, so unless I made a mistake, um, that is the only point of intersection. I will feel much better after I graphically look at these two equations, and uh, I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha to help me check my work. All right, so here's what it looks like when you type it in at wolframalpha.com. Let's see what the website gives us. Okay, so here comes the graph. All right, and a strange little graph it is. First, let me scroll down and check. All right, Wolfram Alpha agrees that the only solution is 0, comma 0. So now let's take a look back at that graph. Okay, so you see um, the two parabolas, as we expected, and um, but they seem to be intersecting like the uh, skinny parabola here just touches the wider parabola at 0, at 0, comma 0. So a very inter interesting graph, an interesting way for these two parabolas to intersect. Let's go on to the last problem, number 6. Now, again, this is quadratic, so we know we are dealing with a parabola. Okay, now, y equals 1. Yes, this is a line, but let's be more specific than that. Y equals a number is a horizontal line. Okay, so we've got a parabola and a horizontal line. So uh, a common way that they might intersect is like this. Okay, so um, let's do the math and, and see what we actually get, though. So substitution, it would be silly to do anything other than substitution. Um, we have y equals 1 and on the one hand, and on the other hand, we have y equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. If y equals 1, then we can just take that and substitute it into the other equation. And this will become 1 equals x squared minus 4x plus 1. Um, because we have a quadratic term and a linear term, um, our strategy should be to get 0 on one side and try to factor. Or worst case scenario, we will use the quadratic formula. Um, either way, we need to subtract 1 from both sides. So that will give us 0 equals x squared minus 4x. Whoa! these canceled out look at that um, so this is going to be very interesting looking um, but I hope you don't mind if I move the zero over to the other side it'll make me feel better so I'm gonna move that zero I like it over here now um, what is the first step of factoring my friends that's right GCF the greatest common factor in this case the common factor is X so let's just put that x out front and think about what would be left behind. x minus 4. Okay, um, so let's just go ahead and set these factors equal to 0. On the left, we get x equals 0. On the right, we have x minus 4 equals 0. All right, now this is the x value of our solution, one of them. Um, for this, we will go ahead and add 4 to both sides so we get x equals 4. Okay, so these are the two x values that we have to work with. Now what about the y values? Now let's go ahead and set up our t-chart over here. Alright, with this equation reminding us about the y values. Alright, so we have our x values are 0 and 4. Okay, so we have 0 and 4. Now normally we, we would plug these x values back into the equation for y. Um, but here there is no uh, x value to plug into. The equation just says y equals 1. So where in the world am I going to get my y values? It's such a mystery until I realize that the equation right here is telling me the answer. y equals 1. So that means y will equal 1 in any case. All right, so that gives us our two solutions of 0, 1 and 
4 comma 1. So these are the solutions. Now let's electronically take a look at the graph of this system so we can see uh, what it really looks like uh, as opposed to our little guess here. All right, I'm going to use Wolfram Alpha once again. All right, I need y equals x squared. You have to use a caret minus 4x plus 1. I think that was it. X squared minus 4x plus 1. And y equals 1. So I will just type and y equals 1. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's a nice picture of what we are dealing with. Uh, first, I'm going to just scroll down and make sure that Wolfram agrees with our solution. So, 0, 1, and 4, 1. Is that what we had? 0, 1, and 4, 1. So, we are golden. So, um, just like we thought, we have this parabola. And then um, y equals 1 is this horizontal line at 1. So you can see the intersection points here and here. And that is going to be the end of our lesson. I hope it was helpful to you guys. And I will see you on the next video.